Hey everyone, Gary here from uh, Gary Taylor Adventures. Wonderful for you to join me today. We've got a bit of a camping, fishing trip planned. Not allowed to go up here with a vehicle, so we're just going to park up. There's a nice cool breeze. It's probably down to about 8 degrees, wind chill. We're going to get out there and we're going to do a bit of a fish and a bit of a camp. My mate Steve and his son Lachlan with us. I've got my windproof skull cap on and we're joined by a bunch of onlookers. <laughs> Check them out. Alright, getting into a bit of the walk. They used to allow four wheel drives up here, but obviously the guys were abusing it a bit, became very rutted. So now you've got to leave the car back down there. So, beautiful backcountry valley, a bit breezy today. Oh, getting steep, guys. Whew. I'm fit. Okay, we're almost able to see one of the lakes. Oh, been a bit of a walk. Wow, well, haven't been up here in a while, guys. Yeah, that's beautiful. I can see the other angle on the other side where the trees are there. Oh, look at that view. Look at that view, guys. The other lake's just over the hill there. It's a bit breezy. See an angler on the other side of the lake towards that back bend over there on the left. It's just been good to get out here, guys. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been out here. I was thinking Steve and I and Lachlan could probably try and tent up around here tonight, find a spot in there. It's a bit breezy, guys. Found a potential hammock spot here. Can hang from this tree here across to these. Uh, still have a bit of protection off the hill here from the wind. And uh, check out your view. <laughs> this would be primo actually. So yeah, hammock. Hammock camping is an option here. Time to top up, got this water filter and my water, so <clears throat> lots of water here guys, <clears throat> get to filter it though. There we 
go. Let's drink it as is. So we got the cicada out there now. Let's see if we can lure one up to the surface. Man, that'll be exciting. Haven't seen a rise. Supper, tea. Having the little weed zip, jet boil. And the boy, is there what you guys having? Uh, pasta with. Where did it go? Here we go. Some mayonnaise tuna. Jed's bean bag. Tomorrow, this man's already got ice cream and McDonald's on his brain. <laughs> oh, look at that lovely sky, Steve. Well, it's nearly seven o'clock in the evening now. The skies are looking a bit ominous, as you can see. Day one, it's been all right. Uh, seen a few fish, a lot of fish chasing these smelt or cockabullies out here. Otherwise, just going to be nice to chill out in the tent, read a bit, and uh, have a good night's nice rest. Just had another few rises here, so Steve might be right there. Oh, yeah, that's where he was. You got the green beetle? Yeah. Woo, buddy. Cowboy cook. Oh. So it's a dragonfly actually emerging out of its shuck. Look at this, man. That's quite incredible. Oh, look at him. Banking new creature. That is a monster dragonfly. Huh? Oh, trout will chomp beautifully on that. <laughs> Clouds moving. How's it, everyone? Gary here again. So few little rises here this morning. Steve's had a go. I've put out a brown beetle. A couple casts. Um, we're going to head up to the second lake this morning. Try our luck there. Man, she's a lovely day, just a bit breezy again. <clears throat> so, probably about a k and a half, kilometer and a half up this way. And uh, we'll try fly fishing there. Spin fishing is allowed on that lake, not on this lake. And yeah, see how we get on today. Good night. Got up early, quarter past five. Watch the sunrise about an hour later. See boggy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, check all this fog. Man, it's warm too. Hmm. There's a good rainbow on here, guys. I think he's taking the brown, the uh, green beetle. He's had a couple big runs already. Oh, it's a nice fish, guys. Gee, whiskers. Uh, only got five pounds. Oh, look at that splash. Gee, he's a big boy. Okay guys, got this big rainbow on. I think I foul hooked him because I cannot seem to turn him. Uh, he's jumped several times. Uh, he's slowly coming up. Oh yeah, he's foul hooked in the tail. Oh man, that's going to be hard to bring him in. Oh man, come on rainbow. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this, Rainbow. Let's do this. Gosh. What a beautiful Rainbow. Oh, mate. Well done, fish. Gee, he's a beautiful fish. Oh. Such a pity his fowl looked. Where's that hook? Gee, whiskers straight through the tail, buddy. Oh, man. That is straight through your tail. Oh. Well, how's that for a beautiful rainbow trout? He's got to go back because he's been foul hooked. Oh, he's still strong. to the relative shelter of our camp spot. Yay! Boys have just finished their grub. Probably put a brew on. Sun's just heading behind the hill there. It's six o'clock in the evening. Second night here. Right, we're inside our tent. Closed off that side. Just chilling out, guys. <laughs> just after seven, we're gonna probably listen to a bit of music. Get up nice and early at the crack of dawn tomorrow and uh, fish lake number three tomorrow. Really hope uh, Lockie can catch a fish. Take it home. We've got a chili bin in the car. So thanks again for joining us on our second day. Bit of windy day today, mate. <sighs> Feeling a bit knackered, lots of sun. Anyway, catch you in the morning. Cheers, everyone.
So thanks for joining us, guys. Gary here. Uh, this is the morning of day three. It's our last morning before we get underway. Back to Christchurch. Yeah. A little overcast, but we're going to make the most of today. Hopefully, we're going to catch a fish, take home. Catch you later. Right, let's see what's going on here then at this food station. What's happening here for breakfast? More porridge. Porridge? More cowboy coffee. We'll set up nice and small and cozy. It's kind of set up at a bit of an angle, the inner tent, so I can find a bit more level ground. Uh, but yeah, she worked a treat, this little tent. About $70 on AliExpress with the inner. I put on the side guy lines myself, just one there and one on the other side. But it's got doors on both sides, comes to the inner, supply my own trekking pole, and she's good to go. All the way to the back there, but they roll up um, themselves, but yeah, pretty nice guys. Check it out, there's the view. Awesome little tent. It's got some vents at the top. Lots of space. Uh, the Z light packs up nicely against the back of this kind of lightweight backpack. Let's take you inside for a look. Lovely little tent, eh? Leave no trace, guys. And actually carrying out some crap. Found this stuff next to the lake. Well, I think that bunny has seen better days. You're gonna go up there, guys. Straight up. And then it's a little flat area, and then it's down to the car. Oh. That's a little bit steep, guys. I'll get it from this side. You guys get it from that side. <laughs> Someone's excited. <laughs> nice. Here it comes. It's moving. <laughs> that was quite cool. Steve's on! <laughs> Gee, he's taking a run with you, mate. Hey? He's out near the middle of the lake there. <laughs> That's a massive run he did there. <laughs> Look at the Look at the bands. Look at the bands. Here he comes, he's coming in. <laughs> oh, it's okay, a beautiful go. rainbow. Oh, it's cold. Head. Yes. Hey! <laughs> Man, that didn't take too long, Steve. Thanks. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish and a happy that one angler. There's this beautiful fish, three and a half pound day, Steve. Yeah, 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 he's ready to go. Yeah, let him go. Yes, he's a good guy, I think. Thanks for joining Gary Taylor Adventures. It's been great having you along again. Hope you've enjoyed this trip.
And uh, we have to get out again sometimes, Steve and I. Steve caught that beautiful fish there before. It's been a wonderful time out, guys. Look forward to the next trip. Take care, everybody, and spot you later. <laughs>